Namaste, everybody. Welcome to Opinya Yoga, and I am Opinya. Today has nothing to do with practicing yoga or doing yoga, but I would love to introduce some of you to this brain looking fruit. If you know it, it's great. But I kind of know that some of my friends and my students probably might never get a chance to come across this fruit before. So I just kind of would love to share this with them and any one of you out there that live you know, on a different part of the world and never get a chance to see this fruit ever. Because you never know that you may able to travel into country or a part of the world that will have this fruit available. So when you come across them, you don't have to, you know, just walk past it and wonder what it is and afraid to give it a try. Okay. I actually have to look up online the English name for this fruit. I'm from Thailand and we call this Noina. Noina. But according to Google Translate, it's called Custard Apple. Okay. When it's ripe, you hold it, you can kind of squeeze it down like avocado. However, the skin is a little bit thicker, but you, if you can see me moving the tip of it, you can see that you actually can push it down and you know that it's right and you are actually can peel it open and that is how you opening the custard apple. Each area is represent um, the meat inside of it and also the seed inside of it. You will be surprised how many seeds that actually in this fruit. The skin is quite thick but when it's ripe you can actually eat the meat out from the skin very easily and it tastes very sweet. Since it's not quite appealing, people don't normally, like it's not a famous fruit that people enjoy it just the way it look. And you know I'm kind of one of them as well that just like I will not walk and grab Noina or custard apple first if I have some other option. But we're just gonna go into this. So we peel it open, just squeeze it. Right there. Nice and easy, come out, opening up. A white meat inside. This look kind of chewy. That's also another thing that some people just kind of walk away from it because it just the meat doesn't hold itself quite well there's a lot of seed in that and you can see I actually can peel the skin out from the meat yeah just like that and it have the center inside of it that whole like all the seed together but when you peel it out from that then you start to be able to like crack it open much easier can you see the seed right there yeah and it's really juicy okay i'm gonna put it down and keep on peeling you just want to see the black seed inside of it 
And all you do is you just like pop it in your mouth and just eat the meat out from the skin. Mm. Wow. I have not been eating this fruit for a very long time. The perfuming is also strong. It's almost like you can put it on your skin and walk onto the street and people will like it. It, it smells flowery. I don't know if it smells like witch flower. Sorry for that. Can you hear the rain? It's raining right now. It's like a storm coming into Thailand in these times. So we're gonna have a lot of rain for a couple of days. That's what I heard. I'm gonna keep on eating it. Mmm. Mm. That's it. It's dripping all over. <laughs> mm. Three seed. Yeah. As I tell you, like each skin from the outside is to represent like a meat and a seat. Mm. Well, how can I? If you like pear, I think it's similar to that, but it's definitely it's not pear. The skin is chewier, sweeter, more water in it, but it's. It is not so far off from that. So if you like pear and you come into this part of the world, like in Thailand at the right season or in the tropical part of the world and walk into this like brain looking fruit, you can give it a try and you will not disappoint it. This is it everybody, I see you in the next video, namaste. I hear you.